everybody, what is going on? It's Cujo Fools, and we are back on our Survival Evolved in our Valguero series. And today, well, we're back home. Uh, I've got some cool stuff I wanted to show you. Um, but we did make it back home okay. In our last episode, we tamed uh, some Ovis, and we also tamed, I want to say, a Procoptodon, I do believe. And then, um, yeah, it was kind of a mess because of us just wildly or out in the wild taming everything. Um, I do apologize in advance for my voice. It may sound kind of crappy. It's because I got a cold and I'm finally finishing it off and it won't be a problem in the next one, hopefully. But anyway, uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started today. So I am back home and I have all my dinos here. And I also tamed a Pteranodon to make up for the one that I accidentally got killed. But so you may wonder, how did I get all these dinos back? Well, my Hello, gamers. We have what are called the uh, the chiropod or chi chiropods, I believe. I don't know. Uh, anyway, they are um, basically pokeballs. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says; they're pokeballs. So I will show you guys how they work. So, for example, let's go ahead. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this empty one out too. Uh, if the owners better not mess with me, it already killed one of my dodos. As I was saying, um, so with these, you can use them to transport tamed dinos. They do not work on uh, wild dinos or ones you're trying to tame. In fact, they'll probably... Uh, I tried it on a dodo and the dodo panicked and just ran away. So what you do is you just go up to one that is one of your... Po uh, I want to call them Pokemon now. One of your dinos. Hold the, the right trigger to use the item. And then it'll say that it's in your actual hot bar with the uh, chiropod that you had. Or Cyropod. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry. I'm just going to call them Pokeballs because that's basically what they are. Anyway, and then to release, you just toss it out. So there is a cooldown. If you do multiples at a time, your animals will actually uh, come out and be passed out from they call it uh, the chiro sickness or uh, whatever it is and that's you know basically just them kind of being in shock from being in the pod for a little bit so if you do use it um, you have to wait before you use more otherwise your animals will come out and they will be passed out I will show you for example this is one of the ovis we tamed and she's completely out it's called chiro sickness or Cryo sickness. Oh my god, I finally got it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm still like really out of it. Ew, her eyes are open. Anyway, uh, it's cryo sickness, and for some reason, with the Ovis, they come out shaved. I don't know why, but it's a thing. And so we have everybody out except our Procoptodon, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy out. We are pretty safe here, so I'm not too worried. So go ahead and pop this bad boy out. So they all got cryo sickness. That's okay. They're safe here. They're not going to get attacked. And if they do get attacked, they've got plenty of health to back them up. And then we've also got some people around here that'll wreck them if need be. So as you guys can tell, the base has definitely been built on since the last time we've been here. Uh, I did a lot of work of this offline. So I do apologize for not recording any videos lately for it. Uh, I want to say the last one I recorded was like on the 7th. Let me, uh, get rid of that real quick that way I can turn and like talk to you guys uh, anyway yeah it's been a hot minute it's been about two weeks now that I've recorded I've been busy my sister flew back home and she was staying with us and on top of all of that there's another ichthyornis I think they're called ichthyornises I'm not sure there's the dolphins and then there's the birds so I might be I might be calling them the wrong name if that's the case I apologize so anyway, with these last two weeks, I've been kind of rusty, haven't really done much in the game, and I do apologize for that, but today we're going to be doing some fun stuff. So, um, we have our raptor pack, we have our nastiness pack, if you guys do not remember, I decided to start calling them just the nastiness because they're nasty, they're nasty creatures, like, they're just awful to encounter out in the wild. I don't know what to really pronounce, I don't know how to pronounce them, so I just call them the nasties, but anyway... Now we need a wolf pack. So that's what we're going to be doing today. 
Now, in order to get them all back, we might end up using our uh, cryopods. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a trusty pteranodon out. So I did tame this one just this morning. Um, it's a female, level 228. And, oh, we need to bump up that stam. That stam is bad. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to take her out on her first adventure. I'm going to go ahead and grab one more of those... Uh, Pods. If I can remember what I did with them. I put them in an empty... I want to say it's this one. There we go. I went ahead and just spawned a whole bunch of them in. Yeah, that's cheating, but it's... We're playing solo here, you know, and that just... It just makes more sense to do it that way than to try and do everything original and then everyone get frustrated with me for not doing it the way that they think is best. So I'm going to do it my way. I apologize if that pisses you off, but it's art. Um, you get cheated in this game a lot if you're not careful or even if you are careful like there's glitches and everything like that that can really mess you up and put a wrench in everything you got going on so what we're doing is like I said we're gonna go see if we can find us some wolves they're not too hard to find they're literally right over here the biggest problem is going to be trying to tame them without getting flanked by them um, they they don't necessarily jump, but for some reason they can parkour like none other when it comes to like trying to get a hold of some of them. Like, you know, like you find a high place and you think it's a good time on top of a rock. And then they find you and they kick the crap out of you. So we're going to see if we can find some. I'm hoping we do. By the way, if you guys do happen to hear a random like tune playing in the background, that is my son's monitor. He is sleeping right now. And we want him to get as much sleep as possible. He is a sleepy baby. So I need to keep tabs on him and make sure that he is asleep. And yeah, if you hear it, I apologize. It may be annoying, but we're just going to keep going. I am looking for some wolves. I saw some piggies back there, but they were already attacking something. So once they attack something, they're pretty dedicated to it. I see some wolves right here. It looks like... Four of them perfectly but the area that I want to take or try and use is right there what is that is that a castle there's a castle over here I haven't been over to this area guys so apologies if that is news to you it is a castle that's pretty cool look at all them pigs we might catch pigs today guys I just want to make sure that we're safe right here Looks like we're safe. We don't have to worry about bats. Okay, so I'm going to put her on passive. That way she's not trying to do anything stupid. And then we might just go after some piggies. Pig, 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 pig. If it'll hit them. Pig, 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 pig. So these guys eat a lot. So we're going to have to definitely get some meat, which won't be a problem because we have those mammoths. That are kind of just idly strutting around, so that might kind of help out. I hope this one goes down. It's definitely taking a lot of arrows in the butt. Or in the back, I guess. <laughs> I don't know where the other one went. It ran off. Oh, there it is. Came back just in time. But anyway, there's, their torpor, if I remember correctly, is insane. So we can't really play around with them too much. Like, we got to pop in, tame them, and call her good. And my crossbow's about to break. Crap. I had to fix it before I came out here. I think this one's trying to run now. It's getting too many arrows in the booty. What level is this damn pig? Now it's gone. Piggy, come back! You can blame it all on me! That's right, I'll go after the other ones. These other ones seem like they're kind of a little bit of the lower level. Yep. They're all running. Keep running! What I'm hoping to do is tame them, but I might have to get down there and bullet each one of them and club them. Yep, there we go. Mm. 
Mm, I got him. I know they may come back, but I'm gonna try and... Okay, that one's down. Where the other one's at? Seeing them, so this will give us a chance to go quickly grab some meat. Um, we might just catch one of those pigs, honestly. What are you doing, bird? about for some reason like the bird was like glitching I would hit the command for it to use its special attack and it wouldn't use it it would just sit there and get stomped on all right so that pig is there I don't know we're gonna kind of scout around and make sure that the other ones aren't around I do have bullas on my hotbar I don't think so I think we're in the clear There are some wolves down there. I see them. But I think we'll be okay. So these guys like a lots of meats. Luckily we got some prime from those mammoths, so we can definitely use that. Look at that torpor. This one's a level 20, so it shouldn't take too much, I would like to think. Oh yeah, this will be a problem. We're gonna kinda... Oh, okay, shit. What are you doing, bird? Calm down. Okay, so what we're gonna do is... Where'd the pig go? There it is. We're gonna use this on him. So you go up to him, you hold the R button until you see all these little fun things popping up. And then the way to tell is so um, you can see it down in the hotbar if you have it equipped and it'll show up in your inventory like that as well and then it also does this like little helix DNA looking kind of thing too when you're just kind of holding it oh wrong button my bad guys I've been playing too much uh, black desert um, so yeah we don't want to reuse that otherwise we'll pop him out and then he may uh, have that cryo sickness or whatever it is I think that's one of the pigs right there that we were trying to get after. We're gonna see, I'm gonna look around and see, but I don't think we will be able to find any of them. I think they all ran off before I could technically take them completely out. And if that's the case, it's no big deal because we also are gonna go after some wolves. However, I will need, there's one out there. It's a level 20. Let me see what... That's a male? What do we have? I think we have a male as well. Yes. So if we could possibly get a female, we wouldn't actually have to worry. And there were hearts on that one. So that means that there's one around somewhere. Could you land on a rock possibly? This bird is like being really inconvenient right now. Just on the rock please on the rock. Nope, can't on that one I guess. It's too hard. How about this one? On the rock. We'll just go right here. Luckily for us, I'm not seeing any raptors. So we should be okay, actually. Alright. <clears throat> I'm trying to see where this, uh... Ooh, 135. Yikes. We need to go back and fix our bow, or our crossbow. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go back and fix our crossbow, and we'll be back here in a second. It shouldn't take us too long. Um, I may just do a thing here, too, where I just drop off that pig so I don't have to worry about it if I die. Um, yeah. 
that's what we'll do. So we'll be right back. There, we'll just take care of that. All right, so we are back. Landed nice and safe and sound here. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the pig out. Like I said before, you can see that helix in there. That's how it's, you know, there's a sign there's something in there. Just throw it like a Pokeball, it comes back to you. And the pig's here. Cool. All right, so, and you can double tap it and it'll disappear. Or, you know, like you can, you unequip it. So, we're gonna fix our crossbow real quick. One thing I do wanna say about these cryo balls um, is that they actually, uh, they actually have a time limit. So as you guys can tell, it expires pretty, I think you can have them for, yeah, at least a month. So in game, at least a month. So that's pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and take this one too, just in case. Okay. Go ahead and get this bad boy ready. Okay. I don't imagine that we will have to use whole bunch more like we did on that pig we spent at least I want to say we used at least mm, I want to say at least 30 but it was also self-healing so I mean it wasn't doing damage but it was doing torpor and then it ran away we probably should have planned that a little better but that's okay it's not a big deal I'm not mad about it we're gonna head back over here and uh, if we can find us a female Deodon, we'll go after it. If not, we'll go after wolves. Um, there is that level 135, but I do not think we're going to try it. Just because of how much that one took, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, the 135 takes all of our tranks up. And I don't want to use all of our tranks, if that makes sense. I want to keep some handy just in case there's a spared thing we want to tame. Looks like the wolves over here are getting really messy with that mammoth. Some Argentavis over here. They're fighting a pig. Female level 130. Male 25. Female 55. I want to get in there and kind of help out so that way I can tame the pig, but it, I'd also attract the dangers of the Argentavis and the other pigs as well. Well, at least we know where to get obsidian at. That's nice. There's some wolves down there. I wonder what's getting chased over here. It looks like a sheep. Uh, not a sheep, one of those um, one of those deer. So there's the castle. Looks like those pigs are out causing a ruckus. I want to land so I can look at them, but I won't be able to. And I have to search in the damn back of the saddle just to see. Why you do this? Just land on the damn rock. I know it's pointy. I don't care. Land on the rock, please. I don't want to die. Nope. Chooses to land on the... On the rock. Thank you. Alright, let's see this mess here real quick. female level was. That's a female level 20. If she lives, we'll get her. I don't think she will, though. Ooh, this is a nasty fight. We'll come back here in a second. It sounds like things are getting eaten, though. Okay, we're kind of just scouting right now. I'm hoping we can find something here. I wish that I wish I had thought of it through about the pigs taking off. Look, they're here though. There's three of them, so we can kind of nitpick which one we want and go from there. Don't. Okay, thank God. Pig, 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 pig. Female level 20. Oh 
I'm waiting for it to come back. The other one's over here still too. I think this is the level 20. I hope it's the level 20. It is. Why is it taking so much? Alright, it doesn't matter. It's dead anyway. Or down, at least. So I don't know where the other pig went. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda get down there. And if we can find it, we'll kill it and feed it to its friend. I just have to be careful because I saw that other one out here too. I don't know where the other one went. I think we'll be okay though. We'll just go ahead and land real quick. Ooh, it's kind of making me nervous. Okay. Go ahead and feed the pig real quick. take long either. We're gonna stay on the bird just to be safe because I don't know where that other one went. I don't know if it ran off the cliff. I don't know if it took off behind us. I did see it run off but it could have been the one we killed but it's hard to say for sure because I didn't ever like record like really under um I can't talk today. I apologize guys. It's this cold I swear. Um I couldn't remember uh what level it was quickly put you in here keep you nice and safe okay, we're getting out of here before it gets a little too hairy it's starting to get dark out and that's one of the more dangerous like ways to get killed out here is getting out in the dark and not being able to see so what we'll do is we'll head back to the base drop this pig off and then we'll see if we have enough time to possibly tame some wolves if not I'll do it next episode and that time I'll, that that episode I'll be a little more prepared. Uh, I'll have like a plan in place and everything like that. Today it was just kind of spontaneous and you know just trying to figure out what we wanted to do and everything like that. I really didn't have much of a plan in action, but now I do. So I know what we'll do for the next one. Ooh, that's a pretty bird. Black and gray. All right, so we'll head back to the base. Okay guys, we are back and we're going to go ahead and get our uh, Deodon out of the uh, cryopod. Just a nice little toss. Pig's fine. Took a nice poop. I'll be fine with that. I'm going to check the... Yeah, they already have eaten through all of this, but they eat anything uh, after you tame them. So it's kind of nice. You don't have to worry about them starving just because there's not enough meat in there. Um, as for... Uh, anything else i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold off i know you know it's been a pretty brief episode it wasn't much that happened apart from you know using the uh, the cryopods and also going out and taming the deodons but it's just been uh, it's a little too dark for me to do anything else and waiting around might kind of bite me in the butt so anyway you guys with that I will uh, see you all in the next episode. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!